Growing up in Michigan, I learned the power of a jerk bait a long time ago. This clear water, it's perfect for them, and you know, these fish just really react to it. But on a day like today, well, you know, you got high bright skies, we had very little wind, you gotta have a real finesse approach. So I haven't been up here in, you know, two or three weeks. And, you know, the last time I came up here, the fish were, were really in the full blown spawn. So I wasn't sure exactly how the day was going to go. I knew that it should be the time when the mayflies started hatching. When I showed up at the ramp and saw mayflies on the water, I knew we'd be good and that we picked the right body of water. You know, I wanted to start out someplace that the wind would be pushing some of those mayflies up towards the bank. So we went across the lake where there was just a slight breeze pushing in there. I knew there was some scattered rock and grass on this flat, and it was gonna be a good place for these fish to set up and chase mayflies. There's one. Oh, nice one too. Gosh. He ate it too. <laughs> That's what you want to see. Just getting started this morning, and um, you know it's it's in the it's late in the spring, and I'm up here in northern Michigan, one of my favorite places to fish. And uh, you know, so there's a few mayflies hatching. It's just a, it's kind of a tough time with the post spawn going on right now. But there's a good one right there. You know, we got no. Really, very little wind, high bright skies today. You know, post frontal conditions, it was really cold, you know, like 45 degrees. So, you know, I know it's gonna be a little tougher day. So you got a finesse fish, but I need to be able to cover water. So a jerk bait is just one of my favorite tools that uh, really makes a difference. You know, when the bite's tough, you can get these fish to react still. But under these conditions with this clear water, you need something real finesse -y. You know, you need something that's real subtle. And this new little jerk bait from Strike King, it's just a great addition to the line. This is a new 100 series and it's got just great action. So off to a good start. You know, they're chasing tiny bait. You get really high bright skies or you got crystal clear water. Having a downsized profile on your jerk bait makes all the difference in the world. There's one big one. Oh, nice. Nice. <laughs> oh man, this one you can see he's got a little lamprey mark even on him too. It's a nice one too. Oh, I can probably just lift him. I've got 12 pound line on this, uh, on this rod right here, just running 12 flow. Look at there, you can see the lamprey uh, had latched onto him right there. You see that every now and then up here, but gosh, it's just a good solid, good solid smallmouth. Obviously, you know, I mean, I grew up in Michigan. I've done a lot of fishing up here in the Great Lakes. And I love smallmouth fishing. So when I designed this bait right here, this is exactly what I had in mind. You know, it's a, it's a perfect finesse uh, jerk bait. And it's something that you really have to have when conditions are tough and subtle like that. You want to have something that's just got great action, but you can see I'm throwing it on a bait caster. It, it casts really good. Even though it's a little small bait, small profile, it really throws well. That's a nice one. There's one good one. Oh. Jeezy Pete's. <laughs> nice one. I'm just fishing 
There's a underwater little gravel bar right here and I can't see it's early in the day yet. But again, a lot of these fish um, have, you know, they spawned three weeks ago and they're just, they're just really coming up right now. Look at here, this one has a, uh, a lamprey mark on him too. That is, that is strange to see two in a row like that. But, but no, most of these fish have, have already spawned, you know, three weeks ago and mayflies are starting to hatch. There's a lot of crayfish, there's gobies, there's a lot of perch. They're just getting, you know, fed up and getting ready to, for summer pattern. So he just doesn't give up. One thing about these smallmouth. Oh, come here, buddy. He's got a face full of hooks like that. He, you can just belly them and it just paralyzes them. So then you can get your hand in there. But that, that right there is pretty. Solid three plus pounder. That little perch colored J100. I just, they, they love, they love perch. There we go. So you can see. And I'm working it fast, you know, that's the thing about it is, you know, this is a bait you can fish fast or slow, but for these smallies in this clear water, you want to keep it moving, but it looks like it's going to be a good day today. There's one. Golly, I mean, he bit it three jerks in. You know, this bait is designed to be balanced, to cast well, but also still have really great action. You know, it only runs about three or four feet deep on a long cast, but it just has that great side to side dart. It never goes to the same place twice. And that's what the fish can't stand. Even in tough conditions, they can't help but bite it. That's the nice thing about having a small profile bait like that too for these smallmouth is they end up uh, getting it inside their mouth a lot better. Your hookup ratio is pretty good. I changed the hooks out. Um, I kind of upsized my hooks a little bit for these smallmouth, so they're just so strong. I put some Mustad number four KVDs on there, and you just don't, I mean, you can see I've got him every which way. You just don't lose many, and those great big ones, when you get them, they just won't pull off, but you know, that's just a perfect example right there why you, why you want a finesse jerkbait in these tough conditions. You know, there's always a perfect cadence when you're fishing a jerkbait. You know, it's how fast, how slow, how long do you leave it pause. With the J100, it's really, really erratic. So I move it pretty fast. I mean, I really like to snap it hard, especially in this real clear water like we had today. You know, it really makes that bait jump and that's what makes those bass react. <laughs> Golly. He smashed it. You know, when you got conditions like this, you, I mean, you could throw a lot of different things, but I still just like to cover a lot of water. And I mean, you could throw top water and, and stuff, but a jerk bait just definitely, uh, you know, it's efficient way to trigger a lot of reaction strikes. And, you know, if you're throwing a normal full size jerk bait in conditions like this, you're, you're just not going to get near as many bites. You need that small, subtler profile. See, buddy. There's one. Golly. He followed it right to the boat. I mean, that's common. You know, when you're fishing conditions like this, you're gonna see a lot of them that just follow. What I try to do if, 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 if I'm seeing a lot of that is really just think about the color of the bait. You know, you want your bait to be visible to them, but you want it to be real natural. So, you know, I started, uh, you know, throwing a perch imitator because I know that's what these fish eat. And that's just always a good choice. But a lot of times if it's real bright and clear like this, you're gonna end up having to throw uh, something real translucent like a, you know, sexy ghost minnow or I use one of my favorite colors to, to throw. It's just another good solid one. They're just, they're just cruising these shallow flats and they're just random. So, you know, throwing this jerk bait's the way to cover a lot of water. Got it. Got him. Oh, nice one. Oh, nice one. <laughs> I mean, with these conditions, it's, it is just, it's such a fun way. I, I love catching them a lot of different ways, but 
I love fishing a jerk bait. It's just uh, something that I've learned. It's it's an all season bait, uh, you know. And and now we've got four different baits in the line that you can fish really any season of the year and really most any depth zone. So it's it's pretty awesome to be able to to have that. And we were missing having this finesse jerk bait in the line. So this is real key. We'll let him go. There you go, buddy. Wow. You know, up here in northern Michigan, there is a ton of these type of lakes where, you know, they just have clear water. There's a lot of them that have shallow flats. There's some of them that have vegetation. There's a mix of largemouth. Right off the bat, you know, I caught a good fish, caught another one a couple minutes later. And, you know, I could tell that the, the stage these fish were in, they're in that cruising mode, they're, they're feeding up, you know, they're trying to recover from the spawn. And it's just the perfect scenario when the forecast showed, I knew that, you know, this was gonna be the perfect day to showcase this new jerk bait. Got it. Got it. <laughs> I saw him coming. You know, there's so much to fish in a jerk bait that a lot of people don't, I don't think a lot of people get that how important the cadence is. You know, when it's like this, there's so many times you gotta talk them into biting. And that's exactly what I did with that one right there. You know, I saw them coming behind it there and um, just kept twitching it. When they get close to it, man, just a short, fast movement is really, really critical. And what I'm trying to do is, is just always fish it with slack in the line. So when you're jerking it, it's, I, I have a little slack when I start my retrieve and then I pop it and point the rod right back at it. So you throw the slack back to it. And with a jerk bait, when you're working it like that, and I'm working it pretty fast in these conditions, you want quick erratic movements, but you don't want to pull it very far. So by working it like that, it throws at that slack and that bait jumps forward. And when you throw at the slack, it glides off to the side. And that's what gives it that really, really erratic side to side action that the fish, you know, they, they can't pass that up. So I'm working it hard, but I'm not pulling it very far. It's late spring, early summer. The fish are post spawn. Good one. Oh yeah. And you know, a lot of people might not think it's a great time for a jerk bait, but it truly is. What I learned a long time ago is that a jerk bait presentation is an all season lure. You know, if I'm seeing bass chasing bait, if they're schooling, if they're, uh, if they're around do boat docks and things like that, I mean, north to south, east to west, if I've got bass on bait, there's nothing better than a jerk bait to be able to cover water and make them react. Do it one more time. Oh, got him. There's a chunk right there. Man, it is, uh, it's, it's been a good morning. There's been a lot of flies hatching and uh, these fish have, have really been just up cruising these flats looking for them. And you know, it's that time of year where they're, they're post spawn, so they're feeding up. There's a lot of food in these lakes and it's, it's warming up now. As the day goes on, I think it's, it's, the fish are even gonna scatter out more. You're gonna start seeing them out off the breaks and things like that as the wind starts pushing these last flies that are still flying out there. So, been a good day. I gotta get this jacket off though. Got him. Good one. Good one. Come on. <laughs> well, yeah, no, he ain't giving up. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> He's going to jump. <laughs> Uh, yeah, got him. Look at there, he got it. That's a nice one right there. This bait is getting chewed up. They uh, definitely like it under these conditions. Hard to beat that finesse jerk bait. You know, we started out catching them, but as the sun came up a little bit and I was able to start to see where you could see some of these little drop off edges and see some of the, you know, uh, weed clumps and things like that on the bottom, that's when it makes it where you can really be deadly with that jerk bait. There he is. It pushes a lot of these mayflies up shallow on these flats like that. I got him. All I'm trying to do is target some isolated 
weed clumps and there's a lot of wood and logs and things up here. Just anything a little darker, a little bit lighter is all you want to do. So let him go. Pretty much. nice one. You know, every time when that jerk bait's getting up towards the boat, I'm going to be watching with my polarized glasses and looking behind it to see if there's any followers. If you've got one that if he's moving every time you move that bait, that's the one I know I can talk into biting. You know, I'm going to I'm going to move it two or three times real quick and then stop it. You want to really snap it hard and point that rod right back at it so it jumps really fast, but only goes six or eight inches forward. That's what gets those fish fired up. There we got him, though. Got him. Got him. Boy, he is moving. <laughs> he is full of it. Nice. Come on. Gosh, they just love it. It's one of my favorite times of the year when these fish just get up real shallow like this and, uh, and they'll cruise these flats. It's the same thing happens in the fall. I mean, during the post spawn, it's basically the same as what happens when they first move shallow from, from summer in the fall and they get up on these flats and feed. They go where the food's at. Right now with all these mayflies, it's the spot. See you, buddy. Got him. Good one. He that or he's foul hooked. No, good one. <laughs> you know, you wouldn't think these are the perfect conditions. That one's a good one. For fishing a jerk bait, but these fish just get so scattered up here in the post spawn that you have to, you know, you have to cover so much water. And the awesome thing is, is, you know, if you get into an area, golly, man, he is pulling. He must be foul hooked a little bit. But if you get up here this time of the year in the post spawn and uh, try to find these fish, they're just, they're so scattered that you got to cover a ton of water. And uh, today we've used this new Strike King, you know, finesse jerk bait. It's a little 100 series. I love this bait because it casts awesome. Man, this one is pulling. It casts awesome. It's got great action. And, you know, when you got you know, clear conditions like this, you need something that really is finessey. You know, you need a small profile, something to match the, the forge. There's lots of minnows. Golly, he just won't give up. I've got him hooked a little bit sideways. But I think I got him, yeah. He's got one hook in the cheek. Come here, baby. It's a nice one. But we have caught a bunch of fish today. You know, the mayflies are hatching. I did get him. Oh, come here. The mayflies are hatching. And the smallmouth are biting. Man, this is a phenomenal bait. And, uh, you know, I hope it opened your eyes a little bit to these conditions that you don't have to just always immediately start with a finesse bait. That, that jerk bait right there will really make them react and I still can cover a ton of water. See you, baby. Look at him. He doesn't even know what to think. There's one. Feels like a good one. Oh, there's a whole bunch with him too. Look at the big ones with him down there. Golly, I catch a nice one, but there was a great big one with him. You know, what, what I'm fishing right here is a, is a deep sand trench, and it's like 15 feet deep uh, on the edge, and it falls off into 20. So it's clear, you know, real clear water, and that's where this you know, KVD 300 deep really comes in. You know, this is a bait that I can get the bottom all the way down to about 12 foot with 10 pound fluorocarbon. And, you know, if you want to get it, make it run a little shallower, you can, you can, uh, you know, use heavier line with it. You know, this is a bait that's fantastic in cold water. Um, it's got a weight transfer system, so it casts like a rocket. But in cold water, you can fish it slow and just kind of, you know, just kind of jerk, jerk, pause, and, and it just tips sideways, has great action for that. But also in real warm water, 
um, like I've got right now, you can go out here and really make this bait jump and really make it react. And that's what I like to have for a smallmouth. You can see I'm really jerking this thing hard and, and that's what it takes to get these bigger fish like that to react to it. So um, it's really, really, you know, my favorite bait for that next level zone. If you're looking for a good deep dab and jerk bait, this 300 deep, I mean, it's, it's a really special bait. There he is. <laughs> That's why you throw that deep runner right there. I mean, to get down there to that next level, you have to have a bait that casts far, but it has an action when it gets there. And that's what this 300 deep really does. It's a really special deep diving jerk bait.